Hi there and welcome to a new video on my step by step description of how I made my off grid home solar system. If you are new to my channel, be sure to check out all my previous videos and subscribe so that you won't miss out on any of my new updates. So in this video, I am going to show you how and what I used to make the control panel for my off-grid home solar system. This here is a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This is the output, the two indicators for the voltage input and output. Even the wires are thicker and the connectors are much more strong. This device is much more robust than my previous 2000 watt one. So let's get this back up and let's see. Here in the product description over here you can see the 3000 watt labeled and the pure sine wave as described in the diagram. This by the way is a 24 volt device. So let's place it over here on this wooden board and let's get the other devices that we need. Next is this DC to DC buck converter. All of these meters and equipment I bought over the internet by the way. So let's take it out. Okay, so there are some ports over here that you need to know. First is on this side. Uh, these are the input terminals where the current from my solar panel goes in directly. These are the output terminals. And over here you can see a place marked as CV. Here there is a small screw which we can use to adjust the output voltage. All we need is a small screwdriver. We'll also need a cooling fan for this setup. This over here is a volt amp meter. I will be using this to indicate the voltage and the amperage that is coming from my solar panels towards the battery. So this also comes with these small wires. Easy to set it up. This over here is a 50 amp shunt. This is needed to prevent large currents from passing through the meter and burning it. Next, I will take another meter. This one I will use to measure my system's output. This has a 100 amp shunt. I am using a 100 amp shunt because the output will be drawing a large amperage from my system. Let's take two 20 amp diodes. I will be putting these diodes directly to the output side of my buck converter, thereby preventing current from flowing back towards the solar panels. So we'll fix all of these up. 
and as you can see I have placed two buck converters here. For now I will be using one of these to power this cooling fan so as soon as the current comes from my solar panel the fan will start working. Later I intend to add another solar panel to my system so this will come in handy. Here is my, the shunt connected to the meters. Over here is the 100 amp shunt. And as you can see, I have used thick wires which are connecting to the battery. Okay, so let's connect the solar panel to this control panel and let's switch it on. So I have set the charging voltage at 26 volts. It's still early morning so the sun is not very bright therefore it is showing a low amperage at the moment. As you can see both the buck converters are working. The fan is also working at the same time. And you can see over here I have used thick wires that are connecting to the battery setup. This is because when I am going to power my house with this inverter, it should allow a large amperage to flow through these wires. So when you are using thicker wires, it heats up less, there is less chance of it burning. So that is the input part and here is the output meter. As you can see it has a small backlight and it is showing a voltage of 23.25 volts at the moment. The other values are zero because I have not switched on the inverter yet. So in my next video, I will show you how I use this to connect directly to the current supply of my house and to power the entire house with my off-grid home solar system. I hope you liked that video. If so, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.